Hey, fellow goal achievers, uh, we are back uh, with our next step for our Quick Tip Tuesday series where we're working on the top 10 reasons of things you need to embrace if you want to reach your big goal. And this time we are on to lesson number six. Six. So without further ado, uh, so you definitely want to pay attention in this 10 part series. Um, so uh, again, let's keep it to yourself, guys. This is what this topic's all about. Um, it is about making sure that, that you know exactly when that you need to, to, to take a step back, which is what we're going to talk about today. So there's a lot of value to this, especially when you're dealing with naysayers, because there's no secret that, you know, um, if you're ever feeling pushback, for your great big goals, which we all have a tendency to do, especially with our family and friends and sometimes or even other people, maybe it is time to, to forge ahead for a loan for a little bit. Um, we're not talking about getting rid of friends or getting rid of anybody, but just sometimes it's time to take that step back and do what you need to do to take care of yourself. Uh, for years, experts have touted the benefits of you know using others to keep one accountable when attempting to accomplish something grand. Um, Sadly, this is not always something that's practical or you need to be very cautious on who that you do bring in uh, to help you with that accountability portion of it. The difference being a lot of us look to our closest friends that have been around us for quite a while. Um, you know, uh, and occasionally when this happens, you're going to come across people who aren't as pleased with your plans as, as you would like them to be. Um, it, you know, it, it could be something as simple as let's just say you're you might be trying to work on quitting smoking. Right. But you're discovering your buddies who smoke with you aren't necessarily pleased with your progress. You know, they're not as happy that you're not smoking. You know, I mean, of course, you know, these these they have people have their own issues. You know, they really honestly do. Maybe you remind them of their failed attempts to quit. Uh, and that's OK. It really honestly is, uh, you know, because the truth, uh, a lot of this stems from abandonment that they're feeling uh, because you're no longer smoking with them. Uh, or none of which helps you, which none of which really helps you totally in your goal. Um, it could even be where you are trying to start a business for the first time or, or you're, you're switching gears and you have to find a new series of, of people to hang around with that, that do encourage you because you're learning from them, right? They're different. They're, they're more seasoned in, in being part of this. And sometimes your other friends might feel like they're being left out or like you're too good for them or something. You, you just never know. But it is that, well, they, that, that disconnect that, that really takes that toll on a lot of those people, which is why you get the pushback that you get. Um, when this happens, I mean, it's sometimes better just to work alone for a while. Um, it really honestly is. And, and it's, again, that's okay. Um, I mean, you know, don't, don't say a word about what you're saying um, or what you're doing. Instead, let the results speak for themselves. You know, uh, whenever protests, uh, the, the naysayers would have voiced mean nothing when you're presenting them with the end product, right? They can tell you all day long how, why you shouldn't be doing it or, you know, or, or how it can't be done. And then all of a sudden you're going, well, look, I've already done it. So how does that fit in? Right. I mean, it's almost kind of not necessarily throwing it back in their face, but that's almost like what's happening. Um, so uh, hopefully there was some good information on this. Hopefully you guys will take a step back sometimes. And when you are dealing with those naysayers, you know, revamping and, and taking a step back and working on yourself. You know, a lot of times we're, we as people want to be people pleasers. We want to make other people happy, but you can't make yourself happy if all you're doing is trying to make everybody else happy. So, uh, you know, definitely, um, you know, definitely, um, uh, be, you know, take the time to, to take care of yourself when, when these things are going. Uh, again, this is Terry Buzzer Jr. with SMI Coaching, part of the uh, Empire Builder Confidential Program uh, that, that we have to help People live their best lives, especially have the best year ever. Um, take a time uh, and join our Facebook group. I've posted a link somewhere here uh, and, and follow us. You know, these are just the quick tips that will have a lot more in-depth information. It's going to be volunt that's going to be free for you guys, for everybody that's part of the private group. So definitely take a time, join uh, and, and be part of the system, you know, help everybody else out. It's all about encouraging and everything else. But, uh, you know, as, as always, guys, remember, you know, to envision, execute and excel in everything that you do. Thanks, y'all.